So data privacy is one of these things that comes up basically any time I have a conversation with a new client or a potential client that wants to start using generative AI in their business, but they will always have some degree of uncertainty or concern around how risky or how dangerous uh, these models are for the privacy and security of your data. So here I'm going to first clear out some common misconceptions that a lot of people have and then also talk about the real risks that are involved and what you can do about them. So the first thing to understand is that the AI models themselves are not in any way dangerous or risky from a data privacy point of view. All that the models do, they are just neural networks. They take in a user input and then based on that input, they predict, they generate some appropriate outputs. And the model itself doesn't have any kind of memory. It doesn't learn or otherwise remember any of these inputs. Training the model, teaching it some new data is actually a completely separate process that doesn't just happen automatically when you're just using the model. So the question isn't about the AI models themselves, but it's about who's hosting the model on a server somewhere and what kinds of systems have they built around the model. So we take, for example, ChatGPT. This is not just a model, but it's a whole software product. And it does use OpenAI's GPT models in the backend, but then they have built all kinds of other stuff on top of that to allow for things like memory, conversational memory of the previous messages and even previous conversations. And as with any application, you can be sure that they will collect and store all kinds of user data, including the messages and any data that you share in the application. And then the key concern, of course, here is that they could store this data for later and use it in training their future models, in which case your data could indeed be leaked by these future models if they have been trained on your data. Now, although ChatGPT is often talked about as the place where your data privacy goes to die, there are actually a lot of options for you to be using ChatGPT and the OpenAI API while keeping your data safe. So if we look at the OpenAI privacy policy, the first thing we can see here that a lot of people already know is that if you're using any of the business services from OpenAI, so those including their API and the enterprise and team plans for ChatGPT, then they will not train on that data by default. Additionally, if you create temporary chats in ChatGPT, regardless of what plan you're on, those will also not be used to train future models. And then what a lot of people don't know is that even if you're using the free or the paid individual version of ChatGPT, even there, you'll actually have a very easy option to exclude your data from future training by going into user settings, data controls, and then here you can simply toggle whether or not you want to exclude your data. So this is already pretty reassuring. Now you might also have some additional requirements beyond just knowing that your data won't be trained on. Uh, most commonly, if you are a company operating in the EU, you might be concerned about GDPR and processing personal data on ChatGPT or the OpenAI API. But for this, OpenAI will also sign an additional data processing agreement with you uh, to support you in your GDPR compliance. So we can see that even when it comes to something like ChatGPT, while it can definitely compromise your data if you just use the free version and you don't switch your privacy settings, there are still a lot of simple options for you to keep your data safe. And you'll also see very similar policies and options with Claude and all the other major alternatives to OpenAI. Now, having said that, for the people who really wanna go for the highest levels of security and control, say you want to control where the data is processed geographically, like having it stay inside the EU, then we have the option to run these models on the major cloud platforms. So Microsoft Azure, AWS from Amazon, and then Google Cloud. All of them have their different services for running various models on the platforms. There's some variation on what models exactly are available on different platforms, but here's a quick breakdown of the most popular ones. So the OpenAI models are available exclusively on Azure, whereas the Anthropic models are available on both AWS and Google. Microsoft also has their fee family of small models. Amazon just announced the Nova series last week, and these seem okay quite cost effective, but nothing groundbreaking when it comes to performance. And then of course, Google has the Gemini models, which are actually at this point competitive uh, with OpenAI or Anthropic models. And all of these platforms 
will also offer the open Llama models from Meta. And the key part here is that on these platforms, like I said, you can choose which region the model is hosted on and therefore the data is processed on. All platforms have data centers all over the world, so you can simply choose which data center you want your model endpoint to be hosted on. But also if you already have some kind of existing cloud environment for your data platform or other applications, these platforms can allow you to integrate the model endpoints into those environments better. So say if you want to have the model behind a firewall alongside your other cloud resources and only accessible through a virtual network, then that is something you can set up on these platforms. And of course, all these platforms have very strong guarantees for security and not training on your data. So that's it in a nutshell. So the models don't automatically learn your data. They need to be explicitly trained. If you do use some vendor tools like ChatGPT, just read their policies. Most companies understand that this is something that people care about and are sensitive about. So typically they will address these concerns and give you options to exclude your data from training. And if you have any doubts on that, you can always reach out to the companies for more details. And then finally, for the hardcore people out there, these are the options that you will be looking at. So I hope that helped demystify the topic of data privacy and security around these AI models for you. And I'll see you on the next video.